Yep. 136. That really sucks. That was a great cock out of Falco and Cantadora. Oh my goodness. The second one reported. Found in my neighborhood. Really sucky. Hey, are you guys as tired as I am of losing young birds to hawks and birds, other birds of prey? Oh my goodness, it's killing me. I have lost so many young birds over the last few weeks from hawks while I've been trying to settle some birds. Sometimes we lose them because the hawk comes in, swoops and takes them. Other times the hawk comes in and just scatters all the birds and they fly off and they're so scared they, <laughs> they don't come back. Oh my goodness, so I know a lot of Fanciers have tried lots of different things. Um, some people spray paint the underside of their wings. I'm gonna try that. Other people have um, set up a little wind dancer, you know, little blowy wind tunnel guys to scare off the hawks. Um, you can also try to let your birds out at different times of the day um, so that the hawks aren't waiting there. But man, I gotta do something. All right, and here's my sliding back door. Check this out. We got a folder here. We're gonna set it behind the window to kind of see what's going on here. There is the imprint of the left wing of one of my birds as it slammed into this window being chased by a hawk. There is another wing, left wing, another one. You can tell by the angle. So second racing pigeon slammed into there and a third racing pigeon that slammed into this window. Oh my goodness gracious. This is what happens when hawks come swooping in on them. The birds just panic and they just fly like crazy for their lives and they'll fly right into windows. There's a day when my birds were out, walked inside for a few minutes and came back outside none of the birds were around and none of the birds were in my aviary none of the breeders that tells me that a hawk came by later i noticed wing prints on the door and also noticed a little pile of feathers on my lawn Ugh. honestly having to deal with hawks and falcons is probably one of the most challenging <laughs> and frustrating aspects of this, of this hobby. So I have an idea that I'm gonna try and I'm making it available for everyone else to try too. We're gonna to use biology. We're gonna try it. Here's hoping it works. National Geographic Field Guide to Birds, one of the best field guides for birds. Cooper's hawks, those are the ones. Sharpshin hawks, they can catch smaller pigeons like tipplers and rolling pigeons, but for racing pigeons, it's Cooper's hawks. There they are. Boom. Okay, the other big one is peregrine falcon. Long pointed wings, long tail. Exhibitors, these three hawks, Sharpshin hawk, Cooper's hawk, Northern Gothic, have shorter, rounder wings and long tail. All right, and these are gonna be our heroes. The American Crow and the Common Raven. Both are pretty widespread in North America. Genus Corvus. Members of the genus Corvus, crows and ravens are mortal enemies of hawks and birds of prey, including owls, and vice versa. They hate each other, and if there is a hawk in the neighborhood and there are crows or ravens, those crows and ravens will just swarm that bird of prey and chase it out of the territory. They will not rest until that thing is gone. I'm about to let more of my birds out here in a minute to bathe. So we're gonna make use of this guy right here, a Bluetooth speaker. 
what I've done is when I've come out here and there are ravens or crows calling, I have recorded those sounds. And if there are crows and ravens in the area, you're not gonna see hawks around, I guarantee it. Because they will just swarm those hawks. So, I've made a little video. And I will put um, a link to that in this video, in the description, and I'll link it up above. It's a video of those sounds on repeat. And you can play it from Bluetooth speaker while your birds are out. Let me show you how it works. Okay, here's the video I've made and I will upload it to YouTube. It's connected to this uh, Bluetooth speaker right now. Oh yeah. We're gonna fool those falcons and hawks. Oh yes, oh yes. It's party time at the pigeon house. Spa day. All birds can come out now. So this young bird was one that got scattered the other day. Glad to see it's coming back. Let's go in and get you some food. I can see you're hungry. You want to come to me? Yes. Yes, you are. So that's actually the call of a raven, common raven. And that's the crow. Much higher pitch. Not quite as kind of throaty sounding call. More of a caw, caw, caw. Cool. Biology for the win, baby. Woohoo! Now, once your birds are settled, then that changes things a little bit. You can, um, basically set up a strict regime where you're not loft flying, but just get them into form and condition by taking them on training tosses. That way they're either in the loft or they're out on a training toss. There's no time just hanging out around in the neighborhood where trees are and where the hawks are hanging out. So that also will help reduce casualties from hawk attacks. Good luck to everybody flying your birds. Try out the video, see if it helps. Play it while your birds are out. I think it will help. I'm gonna try it too. Here's hoping. Adios.